Got some beer here, you know what time it is. It's time to open up some Yu-Gi-Oh! product. I'm sure some of you right now immediately have noticed that something's different. Yeah, I'm wearing a white shirt. That doesn't happen very often. But today, I'm going to a Mariners game, so I figured, eh, what the hell, I'll put on the Mariners shirt, you know, before I, when I film this. It's too much extra work to put on a Mariners shirt, because I had to go out and do some stuff today. Come back home, take the Mariners shirt off, put some sort of black skull shirt on, do the video, take that black skull shirt off, put the Mariners shirt back on. That's too much shit. I really hope the Mariners can win. They're playing the Dodgers today. L.A. Dodgers, a National League team. Um, you know, the Mariners need a lot of help. Uh, they're just perennial losers. Uh, they haven't made the playoffs since 2001. I was 12. Uh, and I don't think they're going to make it again. You know, I mean, it just it's amazing they can never make the playoffs. The Bills finally made the playoffs, which I was excited for. So they hadn't made the playoffs since 1999. But, you know, will, will the Mariners make it? I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, before I get to my Yu-Gi-Oh! product open, I got a sponsor I got to tell you all about. Real proud to have you. $25 help me out. And uh, I'm really excited for all this. And uh, <clears throat> it's a really good sponsor, folks. It's at the ass end of summer. There's only, well, there's still another month left of summer, technically, per season. But if you're a child, the summer's almost over. you got two weeks left. I don't get summers anymore because I'm an adult. I haven't had a summer vacation. Oh... In 11 years. I went on strike in like September and October. Or was it just October? I think, yeah, it was just the whole month of October I was on strike about 10 years ago. So that's kind of like a little vacation even though I only got paid $150 a week. Which was pretty tough to live on. $150 a week when you're living in a one bedroom apartment when you're uh, 19 years old. It's pretty rough. But luckily uh, Halo 3 was out. And so I was just playing that every day. Hardly spending any money. You know, just buying the cheapest shit you can buy. And uh, surviving, you know, you save up for when you know a strike's coming. Anyways, my sponsor is about summer. Now, when you're a little kid, speaking of summer vacation, when you're a kid, what's something you like to do? Well, you're out running outside, getting all hot and sweaty and everything. You need to cool off, but you don't have a water bottle. Back then, when I was a little kid, they didn't make little Aquafina bottles. That just didn't exist. You had to run inside, get a glass, front, fill it with water from the tap. You know, it was quite the ordeal. Well... You could circumvent all that by doing one of my favorite things, by running to the garden hose and getting a drink out of the hose. Now, that hose water tasted real fine. As long as the hose was not laying in the sun, then it's going to taste really bad. But if that hose was in the shade, it's going to be some delicious-ass, refreshing-ass water. So, there are so many entrepreneurs and uh, capitalist cats out here in the Ravensdale, Cumberland, Enumclaw Mountain area that another one has come forward, and I'm really glad to be their sponsor. I'm talking, folks, about Hose Water. That's the name of my sponsor, Hose Water. It reminds you of summer as a kid, where you can drink out of the hose, except this time it comes in a bottle. They are, what's going on is this is led by Clarence Berg. That's his name, Berg, like iceberg, but just Berg. Clarence Berg, an old-ass man. He fills up bottles of water from a hose and then sells that bottle of water. And it comes in two flavors, green and black, for the green hose and the black hose. I personally prefer the green flavor. I think green tastes better than black. That probably sounds racist, but I don't give a fuck. Um, well, no, green, nobody cut green, I don't know. You gotta be careful in this PC climate, you know what I'm saying? You got to be like, oh, Jesus. But anyways, he fills up the bottles with the different colored hoses. I think you get the different flavor. And they're being sold here at the Ravensdale and Cumberland Beer Mart and Enumclaw's Beer Mart. I think it's just starting to get them. Old Grunlands, that's their beer mart. Mine's just Ravensdale, there's Cumberland, and then Grunlands, which is Enumclaw's. Um, now, I got to let you all know that uh, he has four authoritarian sons that are really rough. They're like thugs. I mean, they're not like criminal organizations. Well, they might be. I don't know. 
but the, you don't want to mess with them. They will beat the shit out of you if they get the chance. I'm talking about Stevie, Davey, Al, and Robbie, and a lot of times they have their buddy Brian with them, and he's not a brother, but he just likes to stand back, and while the brothers are beating up on people, he just sits back and laughs. I, I don't know if they beat up on him when they have nobody else to beat up on. I don't know, but you don't want to mess with Clarence's four sons and their buddy Brian. It's, it's not good. I've seen them attack elderly men. I've seen them attack cattle. Uh, they just go crazy. And uh, so, besides that, hose water is delicious. So, I cannot praise them enough. Thank you, hose water, for the $25. Help pay for these packs. Pay for the lighting. Pay for the mortgage. Pay for the beer. All right. So, a new extra set came out. Slight re slash reprint set came out. And it is right here. It's Shadows in Valhalla. Or Valhalla, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I can't believe some of these cards are real. It's got the Valkyrie monsters in here. Like, just like the Golden Castle Stromberg and all those cards are real now. Now, these are real from the same season, actually. Um, which, by the way, I'm going to point this out. Look at these. Look at these girls on, on the side of this box. Are these all the, the Time Princess people or something? I can't remember who they are. But look at them. They got. What is that? It's so cute. I mean. <laughs> The pink one's hair is like made of cotton candy. But anyways, uh, there's really nothing too great in this set in terms of like gameplay wise. Like there's nothing breaking like Sky Strikers or Necros or or anything even that hyped. Like even Magic Musketeer was hyped. Dark Lords were hyped. Um, we just got good old Valkyries. And it's got some really good reprints in here. Notably Ash Blossom is in here as a super rare Go try and see if I can get one of those from one of these packs. I, I heard a short printed. Maybe I'll be proved wrong. It'll be get three of them in a box. I don't know. Uh, the highest uh, profit card here is Alistair the Mad Invoker, I think his name. The Link Monster for Invoked. Uh, it's going to be weird seeing a, a super rare Invocation, I think, and a super rare uh, uh, Invoke Macabre. That's going to be so bizarre to look at. And, uh, but I'm really excited to open this up. Don't forget there's also ninjas in here. I don't know if... I've played against ninjas online and it just looks terrible. There was a guy playing ninjas at Locals yesterday and he did not look like he was having fun. And, um... Oh yeah, at Locals yesterday I took in Trickstar again and went 3-1. I lost round 1 to Sky Striker on a technicality uh, that... Probably at a regional. They could rule either way. The guy added, he played Kagari, used its effect to target, engage... He added to his hand, and I said, chain, instead of on resolution. I fucked up, I guess. And he said, oh, you said chain of the target. And so he banished the two dead cards from his hand. They were dead. Drew two really good cards, and then still added the engage. I was pissed. But yeah, I live and learn, I guess. I mean, I always, I mean, whatever. Most people know what you're talking about. I'm sure I've said chain before. Maybe it was like, oh, God damn it. Anyways, guys, I gotta head over yonder, open this box up. It's gonna be hype. I'm gonna see how many of these princess and Valkyries I can get. See if I can pull on those ash blossoms. Heard they're hard to pull. And I'll see what I can do. But anyways, guys, hope you're excited. I know I'm excited. It's the ass end of summer. Go Mariners, and let's get drunk! Ah, let's get on in here. Got my beer, got these Valkyries, got these girls on the side here. I mean, look at her. Her hair is made of cotton candy. I have a message for you. My hair is made of cotton candy. I wish. You know who else's hair is made of cotton candy? If you guys go on the internet and look this up, Ruckus from X-Men. R-U-C-K-U-S. This could be Ruckus's daughter. Yeah, Ruckus, he's got the, his mutant power is to scream real loud. I think he, he like, in the comics in the 80s and 90s, he always wore like a conductor's, like an old like 1700s conductor's outfit, like a musician, not a train conductor, but a musician conductor on the big bands, big symphony bands, which made, I guess made sense. I don't know. <laughs> I always thought he was interesting because he had pink hair just like that. Like why is that part of his mutant powers to have like bright pink cotton candy hair? I don't know. All right, here we go. See, I don't know what to put down in front of the camera. I guess I'll just put down the new cards. You know, I don't know. Here we go. Shadows in Valhalla. Wasn't it Shadows over Valhalla in uh, the OCG? I don't know. Neospatian. 
Fortune Chariot. Where's your original wallet? Magic Planter. This car was so expensive when it was new. And a secret rare Alistair the Invoker. Nice. People can finally upgrade their Alistairs. Secret rare Alistair the Invoker. Man, I'm so tired of Invoker. Uh, invocation. Not that I think it's too good or nothing. Uh, oh, Mermel Albistius. Uh, Valkyrie Zouet. Valkyrie Erst. And Winwich Ice Bell. Nice. This card has seen better days. I don't think it's that good anymore. But, but anyways, getting back to the Invocation. Uh, it seems like everybody mixes everything. Like, that's everybody's attempt to mix Invocation. Like, I remember some guy was trying to play Invoke Thunder Dragons online. Like, what are you doing? I'm going to hero Magma Neos. Wow. A Classic Magician reprint. How about that? Invocation Super Rare. Look at that. What the fuck? Uh, White Dragon Ninja and Old Entity Cthulhu. Oh, God, what is this? It's a Pyro Monster. That's pretty rare. Uh, one tuner plus one non tuner. Okay. If this card is synced with someone, you can return all rank 4 XYZ monsters on the field of the extra deck. If a fusion is someone using this card as fusion material, draw one card. XYZ monster that was uh, someone using this card on the field as XYZ material is effect. If I see summon, draw one card. So these are like old, I think. I think these cards are like old, like jump promos or something. So their effects are really dated. Like, good luck using that monster's effects now. X Y Fusion X Y Z Synchro. What? Goddess Scolds Oracle, Twilight Ninja Jogan, Neo Space and Flame Scarab, Red Dragon Ninja, and Hidden Val Village of Ninjutsu Art. So, like I said, I've played against a ninja online quite a few times now. This is a card that always comes up, and I'm just not too impressed with the ninjas. Oh, I'll read it as new. Uh, if a ninja monster is summoned to your field, you can target one ninja monster or one ninjutsu art card in your graveyard. Add it to your hand, but you cannot activate cards or effects or effect of the cards with that name for the rest of this turn. If a ninja monster or ninjutsu art cards, you can roll be destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect. You can manage one ninja monster from your graveyard instead. You can only use each effect of Hidden Village of Ninjutsu Arts once per turn. It's okay. Like, it's not a bad card for ninjas. They need to really explore ninjas for six samurai. They really need to do that. Just make a whole box about it. Uh, Apex Avian, uh, Abyssius, Cyberdark Impact. Is this his first reprint? That's an expensive ass secret rare out of, uh, what is it, Tactical Evolution? Magical Meltdown, super rare. Valkyrie Brunhilde. This is the boss one, right? Nice. Unaffected by your opponent's spell effects. Games fire attack for each monster your opponent controls. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can have this card lose exactly 1,000 defense, and if you do, Valkyrie monsters cannot be destroyed by battle this turn. 1,000 defense. That's a pretty good effect, really. So it doesn't make it attack go down. Valkyrie Brunhilde. That's the, that's the cover monster there. How about that? Got the cover monster. Don't know if that means anything. Oh, there she is with her cotton candy hair. Verdande. Oh, man. Ridiculous. Strike Ninja. Neo Space and Glow Moss. Gross. There it is! An Ash Blossom! Gonna put that up there. Ash Blossom in the house. And Yellow Dragon Ninja. <laughs> oh, man. That's a good one there. So, I'm not gonna read Ash Blossom. Everybody knows what it does. Super good. One of the best cards. Uh, Yellow Dragon Ninja. Look, he's got like, what is that supposed to be a dragon? Oh, he's a dinosaur too. That must have really helped them out with the uh, other ninjutsu cards. Uh, cannot be special summoned except by the effect of a ninja monster or or ninjutsu art card. Once for a quick effect, you can send one ninja monster and one ninjutsu card from your hand or face up on the field of the graveyard. Then target up just two spell or trap cards on the field. Destroy him. Huh, how big is he? 3,000 attack? Damn. It's a big ass ninja. The power of a dinosaur. It looks like a moray eel. It doesn't even look like a dinosaur. It looks like a big ass, pissed off moray eel. Which people have lost hands to. Here's Yellow Ninja. I guess he's the starter card for him. And the hero Neos. Vision Hero Trinity. Mermel Abyss Megalo. Nice. Oh, Twin Twisters is a secret? Fuck yeah. That's nice. Secret Rare Twin Twisters. Cool. See how many of those I pull. Twin Twist is one of those cards I don't think will ever go away. That card's just super fucking good. I wish it was an ultimate rare. Uh, Invoke Macabre, super damn. Gold Bamboo Sword, Vision Hero Trinity, 
Magical Meltdown, and Outer Entity Nyarla. God, this thing's gross. I've looked at this thing for years on Yu-Gi-Oh! Wikipedia. Like, God, what the fuck is that? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ew. Alright, when this card is XYZ summon, you can discard any number of cards. Increase this card's rank by the number of discard cards. Once per turn, while this card has XYZ material, you can target one monster in your graveyard. Attach all materials from this card if you do attach that target to this card as material. When a monster is attached by this effect, this card's type and attribute becomes the same as that monster's original type and attribute. I don't understand. Why are people using that? I, I think it was used for a little while over an OCC. I just don't know why, and I don't care why. Because I'm never going to see it played ever. Valkyrie Dritte, Ninja Grandmaster Hanzo, Hero Chaos Neos, Ninja Jogan, and another Wind Witch Ice Spell. Nice. Ice, ice, baby. That song's like a lot better than people say. I mean, I, it's a terrible song, but it's not as bad as people say. Abyss Lead, so we got all the big mermails here. We got Abyssius, Megalo, and Abyss Lead. Magic Planner, Urgent Ritual Art, Armor Ninsu, Armor... Art of Alchemy. This is a new card, right? If you control a Ninjutsu art, destroy as many Ninjutsu cards as possible, and then draw two cards. Huh, that's not too terrible. Another Alistair the Invoker. Getting on those secret rare Alistairs. Is that a playset? I don't think so. I think it's just two. Time Princess is in here, right? Golden Bamboo Sword, uh, Skull's Oracle, Strike Ninja, Ninja Art of Super Transformation, which I believe this was a super rare of an Astral or an OTS pack recently, and Forbidden Trap of Zahodron. I think this has to do with the uh, Outer Energy Monsters. Let me go ahead and read this. If you control two, exactly two monsters of card types among Fusion, Synchro, or XYZ, yes, yeah, so you can see how old that is. Then you say Link or Pendulum. Apply the following effects based on those types. F Fusion and Synchro. Special summon one Outer Energy XYZ monster from your extra deck, and if you would... If you do attach this card's material, Synchro or XYZ, special summon one Elder Entity Fusion monster from your extra deck. XYZ and Fusion, special summon one Old Entity Synchro monster from your extra deck. You can only activate one Forbidden Trap Book Gazan once per turn. Ass. Just, why are they in here? I guess we finally got them, but it's so fucking late. Like, those were around, I think, when Pendulums were new. A case of Magician, Valkyrie Drite, Magma Neos. Server Dark Impact and Old Entity Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Oh, do I want to read the. I don't want to read those. They're just. They're so disappointing. It's like. Fuck. They should have had. I know, I know Shadal Windows in here. That should have been a secret. Hopefully it is. High Speed Roy Tron Barra. Super Rare. Holy shit. I gotta look at what Tron Barra means. That's actually a word, I guess. Uh, wow. It's got a little bit of misprint there, too. Like, a little bit of dirt or something on it. Like, some got some Cheetos on the press. Uh, the Cotton Candy. Upstart Golden Ninja. This card's really important to ninjas, I guess. Art of Transformation and Outer Entity Asathot. Ah, oh, there's the last one. God, so gross. All right. You can also XYZ, this, XYZ summon this card by using an old Outer Entity XYZ monster you control as material. Transfer material to this card. Cannot be used as material for an XYZ Summon. After this card was actually XYZ summoned, your opponent is going to activate monster effects for the rest of that turn. If this card has at least three XYZ materials, Fusion, Synchro, XYZ, monster, you can detach one material from this card, destroy all cards your opponent controls. Good luck making that. <laughs> it's so bad. So bad. Uh, Abyssius. And just do Art of Rust Mist. This is a new one. I don't know this one. High Speed Roy Tron Barra, Miss Vela Apex Avian, and Valkyrie Brunhilda. Another copy of Brunhilda. Unaffected by your opponent's spell effects, gains fire attack for each monster your opponent controls. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can have this card lose exactly 1,000 defense. And if you do, Valkyrie monsters cannot be destroyed by battle. Man. That is a giant ass horse she's on. First off, I mean, look at the size of that beast. It's like a fucking Clydesdale. Clydesdale Stallion, and her stomach is so toned. Just want to point that out. She's been doing a lot of sit-ups. Very toned stomach. She's the boss of the Valkyries. The boss bitch. All right, another super rare invoke Macaba. Valkyrie Urstete. Fortune Chariot, Ninjutsu Grandmaster Hanzo, and Shadal Fusion is a secret rare. Alright, alright, alright. 
Shadal Fusion, which you can Ash Blossom. Like, even if they have uh, a Beast and, like, a, you know, a Hedgehog and they're trying to make Winda, you just Shadal, you can just negate it with um, Ash Blossom because they have the option to send from deck to grave. So Ash Blossom can completely negate Shadal Fusion. I did that yesterday, actually. Just negated it straight up, like, boom. And it was great. Strike Ninja, Valkyrie Urstete, Advanced Dark. Wow, that's the first one of that I got. Fortune Cherry, and another Twin Twisters in the house. Liking that. I love Twin Twisters. I ain't gonna lie. Twin Twisters is like one of my favorite cards they've ever printed. The Twin Twistas. Red Dragon Ninja, Armored Dra uh, Armored Ninja. So I almost said Armed Dragon. Ninja Art of Alchemy, Omega Summon. Armor, Ninjutsu, Art of Rust Mist, and Ninjutsu, Arts of Mirage Transformation. Brand new one here. Got some snakes. Got Hanzo. Tribute one ninja monster, then target one monster in your opponent's graveyard. Special summon to your field. It also is treated as a ninja monster while this card is face up on the field. When this card leaves the field, send that monster to the graveyard. You're going to activate this Ninjutsu, Art of Mirage Transformation once per turn. Oh, you can special summon their monster in attack mode, and its effects are not negated. Fuck, that's pretty good. That's not bad at all, I don't think. Damn. Still looking for Alistair, the Mad Invoker. Uh, Chaos Neos, Abyss Megalo, Omega Summon, Elemental Hero Neos, and Wind Witch Ice Bell. That's a play set there, that. The Ice Bell. Those cards were so good when they came out with, uh, was it Wind Witch Invoked? Valkyrie Zuete. Magma Neos, Neospace and Glow Moss, Neospace and Flare Scarab, and a Dragoony Knight Varujna. This card was so expensive for such a long time that it never got reprinted. And also it's getting reprinted all the time, it seems like. So it's pretty much destroyed that card's uh, value. But yeah, it was really expensive, like 60, 70 bucks for years. Uh, I'll start Golden Ninja, Red Dragon Ninja, White Dragon Ninja. Ah, oh, I didn't get another one. Ah, oh, this is the first one I've gotten her. Erd's Verdict. And Forbidden Traposundin. You know, that gal, like, these girls are carrying those things that, like, Whis carries on Dragon Ball Super. You know, he's got that staff with the floating ball. A Kasich Magician, White Dragon Ninja. There, yeah, see, it's like Whis's staff. Her hair is not made of cotton candy, but her dress might be. I don't like her hair. She's supposed to be like, uh, what's that gal on Halloween in True Lies? I don't remember her name. Who cares? Miss Valley Agamex Avion and another old entity, Cthuga. Uh, damn, I actually saw her at Evo. I went to an Evo quite a few years ago now and she was there. Ah, uh, she, she doesn't color her hair, which is, I like that. She keeps her hair white. Uh, because she's old now. Hanzo, uh, Cotton Candy, Omega Summon, Zouette, and another gross outer entity, as a thought. Alright, looks like Ash Blossom is one per box. Uh, Abyss Lead, Abyss Megalo, Advanced Dark, Cyrog Impact, and Gem Knight Seraphonite Secret Rare. Wow. So, there you go, Brilliant Fusion people. You get your one copy of Gem Knight Seraphonite. Hope you brick on that Garnet. That's always fun. All right, last pack here. Vision Hero Trinity. Abyss Lead. Valkyrie Drite. New Space and Glow Moss, and another Shadal Fusion. So, Shadal Fusion to end it. Could not get the Mad Invoker. But I did get an Ash Blossom, so we'll count it. <laughs> uh, interesting set. I mean, I don't know what to make of it. Like, ninjas are terrible, in my opinion. And uh, got some good reprints in there. It's got the Shadal Fusion. The Twin Twisters I really like as a secret. The Alistair Invoker is pretty cool as a secret. Easier access to Invocation, even though they're past their prime. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a good set in terms of you're just looking for a reprint, but I don't know about any of these, because the, the main theme here is Valkyrie, Ninja, that's mainly it, you know, and, and I, I none of those are going to go anywhere. I mean, I, I can't imagine them going anywhere. 
still need to look at. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you like what you saw, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of this stuff, hit that subscribe button. And if you really want to see more of this, like you can't wait for the next video, go ahead and hit that bell icon. Room the bell to be notified immediately of some quality content. And you'll know right away, and you will pull that emergency stop lever on the train. You will signal a, an emergency on a plane. I, I don't know if you can watch my video on a plane, but if you can, you would. And uh, just stop everything you're doing in your life and stop multiple things people are doing in their lives. And just go ahead and watch my video. And uh, I really appreciate every view and comment I get. Tickles me. Tickles me pink. And I hope that you guys are enjoying these as much as I enjoy making them. I'll catch you guys in a couple of days. Peace!